good whatever your time zone is i hope you're having a good uh, whatever your time zone is but enough of the introduction so because what we've got served on the slice of life today is i i have a great amount of distaste towards liberalism and also liberals i find liberals to be a bunch of stupid people to be completely honest who have no idea as to how the real world works this is going to be a bit different compared to my other videos because what I'm going to be doing here is depicting every way that I can in the quickest way able as to why liberalism is stupid and as always I'm going to depict through liberalism as to how conservatism is the correct choice. Here it is. For starters, let us look at the liberal party runner, that being Kamala, the DEI Native American who is also a black American who was at one point very enthusiastic for elder towards Biden as they all used him as a flesh puppet for their own agenda, who then also had an AI conversation with Biden for Kamala to then take Biden's position in the running. Not at all in the slightest suspicious if you ask me. A native black person, the Swiss army knife of DEI. Next on the chopping block we've got the media. Until X came along, it was always just one voice that dominated everything. YouTube shadow banned every voice that stepped out of line, and Meta, Twitter, Instagram all did the exact same thing. If it wasn't for X being here, we would all lose important history, that being the recent situation with Trump that other media's platforms are trying to silence for being acknowledged. Moving on, we've got the term protest, which I safely say is a word that I completely associate with liberalism. We had child go bye bye protests, we had BLM, which only ended up with the millions raised going nowhere towards black communities, and then we've just about got whatever is happening on college campuses, which is just about anything nowadays. Uh, next topic is the liberal capitals of America, those being California and New York, which are both unsurprisingly also the homeless, foodless, and substance usage capitals of America as well. Who could have seen that coming? Wait, you mean to tell me that only the rich benefit in a liberal run state? That's crazy! Going forth, we've got the utter loss of mental capabilities of most of the left, mental disorders, logic disorders, but don't forget that the right has those mean old churches that talk about <gasps> morals. Run, children, run to your nearest pride parade. Right? Because the conservatives have those gross and old pastors, but the liberals have those new age pastors who teach about inclusivity through means. Anyways, continuing on, we've got spending, which once again, old adages are weirdly enough still real, which is why the term spending liberally exists, because liberals spend a ton of money on things that don't actually help in any way. I'll use Canada for an easy example, which is once again Trudeau's stupid airplane food cost. Which can I say, Trudeau is the perfect spokesman for liberalism, cause he's a smiling stupid. His whole motto is basically, as long as I'm smiling, everything's going fine. Meanwhile, he's crippling Canada in debt, cough liberal spending, causing more homelessness through prices, which then has increased the substance usage in Canada, and unequivocally, Trudeau just is a mental disorder for stupidity, which is why his smile is only contagious for people who are stupid to think that he is anything but bad. Was that a paragraph in the script just used to hate on Trudeau? Absolutely! He's f***ing stupid and anyone who votes for him are just as stupid. Though, uh, to move on, we've got probably the worst happening from all of liberalism, which is men being weaker than ever. Liberals degrade men going to the gym, they degrade men wanting to be chivalrous towards women, and they degrade men's purpose for existing. And through all of that, we get today's simps, which is somehow a worse version of creepy or weird. 
If America had an actual militaristic problem arise, they would be kinda screwed. Cause what good is conscription if everyone who is conscripted is two thirds of the value of the man from the opposition in fighting capabilities? Tell me down below, did I miss anything too significant that currently just evaded my mind? But aside from that, the message is clear that liberalism has caused nothing but problems in today's society, and a very simple antidote to this stupidity is to vote conservative. And how could you not be convinced by such an obvious and simple solution to liberalism? And at least by voting conservative, you'll be moving both Canada and America in the right direction to being the great countries that they can and will be. And if you agree with that, then hit that like button. And if you want to listen to more daily news, then hit that subscribe button to join an independent conservative piece of YouTube media that talks about stuff going on all over North America. Either way though, I hope to see you tomorrow. But until then, have a good one.